Hello, my name is Carolina Adler. I'm the Executive Director of the Meltem Research Initiative, or MRI for short. Um, MRI is one of the uh, partners of the World Data System, and uh, we're here to present some of our uh, planned activities and concerns uh, regarding some of the challenges we foresee in implementing what's called the Global Network on Observations and Information in Meltem Environments, Geonome. So um, I'm actually joining you uh, here from Bern, Switzerland, uh, where the Mountain Research Initiative has its um, uh, coordination office at the University of Bern. It was founded in 2001 as a research coordination network, um, which at the moment connects a community of over 10,000 members worldwide, both researchers and practitioners, that work to apply and promote global change research in mountain contexts. And since 2016, MRI uh, as a member, um, as a participating organization of the Group on Earth Observations, uh, came to co-lead the uh, Geonome, uh, which is one of the only geo initiatives at the moment in the current work program that is entirely dedicated to Earth observation data and information in mountain regions worldwide. Then one of the key motivations for MRI to pursue this is to be able to um, um, fulfill one of the key objectives of uh, the MRI, which is stipulated in the report of the Secretary General, uh, UN Secretary General, to the Assembly on preparations for the International Year of Mountains, which was declared in 2002, which is to achieve an integrated approach for observing, modelling and investigating global change phenomena and processes in mountain regions, including the impacts of these changes and of human activities on those mountain ecosystems. So what is the Group on Earth Observations? It's a partnership of more than 100 national governments and more than 100 participating organisations, MRI being one of them, um, that aim at facilitating coordinated, comprehensive and sustained Earth observation data and information for management decision making and actions aligned with the post-2015 global policy frameworks. Um, and as I mentioned, MRI is one of those participating organisations that mobilises uh, Geonome um, on mountain environments explicitly. So our, some of our key milestones and deliverables for the 2020-2022 frame uh, timeframe, um, we are looking to specifically identify and facilitate access to relevant data and information um, that helps us to um, support monitoring and reporting efforts on things like sustainable development, so the UN 2030 agenda, disasters through the UN uh, Disaster Risk Reduction uh, Framework, Sendai Framework, and climate change. Um, it, not only through the UNFCCC, the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, the Paris Agreement in particular, but also through the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, which is uh, more aligned to, to the current work that MRI does in support of the research community. And these act activities are all um, outlined in the Geonome Implementation Plan, um, which can be accessed online from our website. And for the period of uh, 2019 to 2023, we also count on, on substantial uh, funding contribution from the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC, um, under the umbrella of the Adaptation and Altitude Global Mountains Program, which allows us to also um, uh, work on priority regions such as the Andes, East Africa, Central Asia, Caucasus and the Hindu Kush Himalaya. And some of the key challenges that we see um, uh, potentially uh, uh, by way of the imp implementation of this, of this plan, um, and one of the reasons why we are also motivated to learn from the experiences of uh, fellow WDS um, um, members here, is, for example, the interoperability of data and information, uh, when the needs and requirements of users also focus on integration. Uh, so um, how to integrate different sources and types of data and information so that they can be meaningfully um, combined uh, for decision purposes and for monitoring purposes. This is something that uh, is, is also um, an, an important challenge to address. 
Another challenge is the long-term sustainability and relevance and utility of the data and information that we currently harness and provide um, in view of its long-term aggregation and scalability potential, um, especially when user needs also change over time. So how to maintain the relevance of what we are currently uh, combining, collecting and making available so that it has a sustained utility into the future. And the third challenge that we also see is the ensuring that the FAIR principles are also applied. Um, we often hear and see um, proposals uh, that aspire to and commit to the FAIR principles, but more often than not, we also see that it lacks um, a, a process by which we can also um, uh, check the, how that's applied and how that's followed through. So I'll be interested also to hear from the experiences of other members here as to um, to what extent can we really audit and um, uh, verify the, the applicability of the FAIR principles. And for more information, you can contact uh, me directly. Uh, there's my email address and also that of my co-lead, Elisa Palazzi, and also our scientific project officer at the MRI office, James Thornton. And you can also follow us on, on Twitter and there are two uh, websites that we make available uh, to learn more about us. So I look forward to hearing from you. And all the best to all of you as part of this member's forum. Thank you.